In bars and restaurants, we use trays to serve food, drinks, present bills to the customer and clear tables as well as helping us to set up tables for lunch or dinner service. In this session, I'm going to show you how to set up a tray for a tea service for one person. I'm then going to serve that tea to our customer, clear the table once the customer has finished, and then I'm going to progress on to little, something a little bit more detailed, which is a full round of drinks to a table for four customers. We use various different types and shapes of trays in the industry. This particular one here, a round tray, sometimes called a, sal a salver, especially if it's a silver one that you'll come across, is a nice handy size. So it's nice and easy to carry. It has a non-slip surface, which is extremely important. If we don't have a non-slip surface, we can put a napkin or some sort of base on the tray to make sure that our glasses or crockery that we're putting on there doesn't move. Now you'll see the way I'm holding the tray. I pick it up in my right hand. I am right-handed. If you're left-handed, obviously you will do it in the reverse order. So I put my, the palm of my hand straight out place the tray on top of it with my hand sitting in the middle of the tray. Now, this is because I'm going to place the heaviest um, item that I'm using in the middle of the tray. So I want to make sure the tray is balanced. I hold it at chest level whenever I'm, ever I'm using one. It's like an extension of your hand. And something to remember is that we're going to use our upper arm and our biceps muscles to actually to help us to lift the tray and take the weight of the contents of the tray. So now today or this morning, I'm going to set up tea service for one person, purely for presentation purposes, because I already have a non-slip surface on the tray. I'm going to put a nice white napkin in the center of the tray, position it properly. Then I pick up my cup and saucer. I check everything for just cleanliness. So my saucer and spoon and cup, they go at six o'clock. And the handle, again, I'm assuming that the majority of our customers are right-handed. So I'm going to place everything on the tray with that assumption. So the handle of the cup is pointed to the right at a 90 degree angle. Then I put my tea spoon just underneath the handle, perpendicular to the cup itself. Now, coffee cups, tea cups, you may have two different types or sizes of cups in your business. So make sure, make sure that you're serving the tea cup with the tea. Next thing that goes on the tray is my milk jug. Again, I'm going to check that for cleanliness, for any chips, cracks, anything that could harbor bacteria or just doesn't look sightly. So this goes at three o'clock on my tray. So again, the handle is pointed exactly the same way as the handle of the cup. Next is my teapot, and this is going to go on just next to the milk jug. So what I'm doing actually is I'm setting the tray in the way that I assume the customer is going to use everything on the tray. The last thing to go on, or the second last thing to go on, is my water pot. Now this is used for um, with tea because not everybody likes weak tea or strong tea. So this allows the customer to determine the, the strength of the tea that they like. And the last thing to go on is my sugar. So now the customer will work around from right to left with the tray. So now what I do is, and I keep my service clock with me because it's very handy for any spillages or if I want to adjust anything on the tray. So what I do is I just slip the tray out onto my hand like so and I hold it like this. So now I'm walking to the customer's table. What's very important is that I'm looking ahead of me. I'm not looking at the tray. The tray is fine. It feels balanced. If I need to adjust it, I can do so with my free hand. What's important is that I'm not going to bump into anything as I make the way, my way to the table, or I'm not going to hit any customers on the way, obviously. Also, I can open any service doors or anything that I need to, any doors that I need to go through. Next, I use my tray to serve a round of drinks. The first thing I'm going to place on my tray is the heaviest item. In this case, my jug of iced water. This helps to give balance to the tray with the heaviest item in the middle. I'll start loading my glasses from the back to the front, starting with my beer. This means I'm not reaching over the middle of the tray to place glasses at the back. 
my red wine, which I'm holding by the stem, my white wine, my gin and tonic, which I'm holding by the base, followed by the bottle, and finally, my coasters. Once I arrive at the table, the first thing I remove from my tray is the heaviest item, which is the iced water. As I do so, I can adjust my hand under the tray just to make sure that everything else is nicely balanced. My first drink, I place a coaster down, followed by the wine, which I hold the glass by the stem, not by the bowl. Move around to the next customer. I know and I remember who has ordered what drinks. I'll take my beer and place it down. Coasters are used to protect the table, as well as mopping up any small spillages, and they are also a way of advertising your business. My gin and tonic, I don't mix in the mixer. I place it next to the glass on the table. The customer will pour it themselves. But I do remember to make sure that the label is pointed towards the customer so they know exactly what they're getting. My final drink, my red wine, goes down again. I'm holding the glass by the stem and not by the bowl. Then, before I leave the table, just smiling pleasantly at the customers, check if everything is okay, if they'd like anything else before I leave. If everything is okay, I just wish them a pleasant evening.